Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah just a little something, something you know, we can take notes. Are you ready to get started in a minute? All right. A lot of people tell me I need to raise the camera up. I tell them I ain't made that kind of money yet. I gotta. What you mean, raise the camera up? I gotta get it to where I'm getting. Because, you know, the angle of it, right? It's kind of in the middle. Everybody want it. Oh, you can't sit it on something? That way you can. I don't have anything to sit on. Like last time I sit on this box. Yeah, it's perfect. Let's see what that was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Since we're not, I'm not partaking in this particular episode. What you mean, not? I, I, I haven't smoked. You know, when, 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 when people got to go back to work, they can deliver these people. Wait, so you're not going to be in this episode? I'm in this episode. Oh, I'm, not, like, what I'm, just, I'm not smoking. <laughs> oh, so the ashtray is going to be used. As oh, a prop. you usually smoke to set the aesthetics for the yeah. podcast. You know, to get myself right, but I took a mushroom pill. Oh, they so, make those. You got well, everything. Well, you, they, we, you know, you, they're self-made. You know, you grow the mushrooms on your own, and then yeah, uh, grow mushrooms. But yeah, they, they, Mother Earth grows mushrooms. You know, that's just impressive. Like, just and like how do y'all make it appeal? Oh, you just grind it up in like a coffee grinder. It's impressive. Hey, you know, sometimes you got to be innovative. Y'all you know? never fail to like not impress me. Well, I'm glad you're impressed. You know, <laughs> I'm here every day to be impressed. Be, impressed. <laughs> be an impression. Be an impression. <laughs> oh, me. What are we talking about today? Uh, business, life, um, all kind of you know, gold accomplishments, mental health things. Oh, okay. You you know, I just have a kind of a general basis podcast. Okay. I can go anywhere. It's the that's one of the basis of my name, the Distorted Cosmos, because shit shit can go everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Kind of play on the fact that I stutter a little bit, distorted <laughs> a little bit, you know, here okay. and there, there and there. Okay. So, you know, just be sure if you, you if you can't hear yourself, right? Nobody else can hear you. Okay. So just be sure, you know, you don't have to be right here up on the mic. But I hear myself. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Okay. But if at any time you feel like it's getting a little distant, a little far, probably the people are going to be distant and far as well. Okay, okay. I got you. Well, let me scoot this back. Copy that. Copy that. Copy that. Mm. All right. So I believe we're already recording. So let's get into this intro. Little oh, yeah, that's cool. Let me on your computer. That GoPro, that's 5K right there. It is pretty, pretty little. Mm, I'm glad I wore this green. Hey, hey, shout out to the green. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to the green. Miss Green, the I'll green thumb. It. Green thumb. Just be sure you got your your collar popped on both sides, because you know when I post it, you know my. So I don't get I don't get a lot, you know ton of viewers just yet, but I do get listened to around the world. You but know? they coming. Yeah. Them views but, coming. But I do be around the world. You know, be all up in the Poland. I got a couple of uh, like literally uh, what Sweden, Sweden, Poland. That's Korea. exciting. Uh, I remember when yes, I, um, a lot of places. when I noticed like on Wix.com, mm-hmm. you know, the website builder, it yeah. shows you like where all you shipped all your yeah, stuff. And, yeah. I, and when it pulls up the map, I yeah. was like, wow, <laughs> it's just so satisfying. Like seeing all the people that are engaging in your dream. Yes. And it was right. like, at first it was just an idea. And now it's like, you see it and it's like, you like see the you, fruits of your labor. You see the fruits of your labor. And then when your fruits of your labor start bearing fruit, mm-hmm. 
Mm. That's it. It's a whole nother, that is a whole it. nother feeling. It's so, so fulfilling. So on that note, what's going on? It's your boy Torian, aka Distorted from Distorted Cosmos Podcast. Today we got a special guest with us. Her name is Pretty Diamond to me, but I'm gonna let her introduce her. Go ahead, baby, introduce yourself. Hey, everybody. My name is Diamond, owner of Rose Therapy. We are mm. a florist where flowers meet mental health, and I'm so excited to be on the podcast with Etorian today. Man, speaking of mental health, uh, we actually are in the middle of my therapy session right now. So, me. If you got uh, mental health problems, don't be afraid to go and get yourself, you know, it's it's okay to talk to somebody. Oh, yes. It's okay to, and trust me, you get, you get yourself some flowers. Mm-hmm. You, you, it'll really change the whole environment of, of, of your mood, your space, your your entire vibe. Like, the, to me, life is life. And when you have to care for another life, especially a flower, mm. right, it, it's simple. It doesn't take a lot. But it takes a, a, a commitment to you of watering it. That's true. And, and a the, the nurturing, and, the yeah, nurturing the, the, the aspect talking of to it, it being mm-hmm. sure, you know, checking it out, seeing the things about it. Men, it's okay for you to get men. Get you some flowers. <laughs> get you some get flowers. Get you some flowers. Get you some flowers. Like I feel like men always have to be in that masculine energy. Mm-hmm. So it's like when you able to, you know, care for plants or care for flowers, mm-hmm. it gives you a time to kind of nurture and kind of be tender. Oh, and when a, and when a man is able to be vulnerable and be tender and nurture other things, then it it kind of provides them like a safe space to be able to be there in their relationships or you know their workplace or anything you know outside of that or as a father you know oh, important. Oh. I feel like fathers who allow themselves to you know tap into that that um vulnerability mm-hmm. I feel like they become like a better parent because then they can balance out like you know I can still be like the disciplinarian with my with my children but I can also provide them like with the hugs and the kisses and yeah. teach them like how important it is to you know nurture one another and affection to the kid is very is very needed because it's a lot of things that as in a black community, you know, we, we were taught that having affection, hug, all, all, man, all that shit is soft. Mm-hmm. This shit is not tough because we needed that softer side to yes. nurture the softer side as you growing up. That yes. way, it, because it's, it's okay to have duality. Mm-hmm. It's okay to have that soft side it is. with the masculine because mm-hmm. how else will you recognize and, you know, appreciate the softness that others are giving you exactly. if you're not even, you know, acceptance of your own soft exactly. side. Exactly. If you don't know what it looked like. That's what it is. You got to know what it looked like in order to recognize it. How you going to teach your, your son to be this and you're not doing this? Exactly. And I'm going to tell you why. And that's because kids, they listen. We all tell our kids one thing, right? But if we're not actively being that, mm-hmm. are, are, do, you, do you think they're really going to no. listen? Children right. lead by example. Lead so by it's example. like, you could be like, do what I say, not what I do, but them kids is watching you. And ain't nobody watching you more than your children. Man. <laughs> so Man. if you want them to grow up and be like outstanding citizens, you have be to that. lead by you. You have to be that. Be that. You be, be that. the extent, outstanding citizen. Mm-hmm. If all y'all don't know, my friend, it's a bubble of joy. <laughs> like, it, when I say a bubble of joy, I'm talking anytime, oh, anywhere. <laughs> Sus is a bubble of joy. Anybody who know her, be around her, instant energy, Aww, instant smiles, instant. Heart, y'all pulling at my heartstrings. Thank I mean, you. it's true. That, 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 that's why people love to have you around. Oh, right? thank they you. I want to shout out my mama, hey. you know, and God for instilling this personality into me. But I also do the work, y'all. Um, I take a lot of days to myself. Sometimes I just like, you know, sit in the house by myself Mm -hmm. and do the things that I enjoy doing. It could be just me watering my plants or, you know, just recharging. And then that way, when I come back into the world, I can be like the best version of myself and give that to others. Self-care and self-love. Shout out. Yes. Shout out to the self-care and self-love. That should be, I read a, I read a meme on social media and it was like, self-care should not be a emergency thing. It should Mm -mm. be an everyday thing. It should be definitely worked into your schedule. Exactly. And I love that quote so much. So that is something that I want to share with you guys because that blessed me. (laughs) Mm. 
See, so look, everybody, if you're not getting your self-care in, you got to get it in. Now, I know a lot of y'all is going to say, man, I ain't really got time for no extra stuff right now. And and, I, and I'm going to prove it to you. A lot of people don't have time. So mm-hmm. well, a lot of people, I, I'm not sure if you knew or not, but I'm writing the book. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that I'm writing in the book is time management. Because scheduling, yeah. scheduling is super important. Yes. As you notice over there, I got a, a, a 12-week year. Oh, wow. We'll talk. We'll talk a little bit about that later. That right there's a whole another business module that we're coming up with. Be on the lookout for that video. Twelve week year, but uh, scheduling That's is so super awesome. important. So the main thing is we have three blocks of time a day: eight hours to sleep, mm-hmm. eight hours to rest. I mean, sorry, eight hours to sleep, eight hours to work, and eight hours for everything else. Right now, think about the eight hours that people. Uh, uh, work you're actually there for nine hours because you got 30 minute break and a 15 and a 15 mm-hmm. or some people they got an hour lunch that's true right? most so of your day spent that work but then you got to commute to and from now because we're going back into the office yeah so now you got to commute to and from not only do you then gas to, five dollars. not only do you got to commute but you got to get up and get ready you got to get up and get ready right. so most of your time is going towards well, somebody else's dedicated time. towards your work time now exactly. out of now so then that's hopefully if you get eight hours of sleep so we just gonna say you get seven hours so you now you crack down to about five or six hours to be a parent mm. stay fit self-care <laughs> you know, realistically a lot of people don't have the time you got to implement five, self-care <laughs> but it's all about being intentional intentional as you said so my, my friend her, her son she got a young son and she told him you know what you have to be intentional with with, with how you move yes. so it, that that information is going to ride with him the rest of his life exactly. because as you be intentional with your moves you see you not only do you accomplish the things that you want to get done in a timely manner but you create additional time exactly and right? it provides you with structure I feel like when you implement structure into your daily routine, it makes it easily, it makes it easier for you to have um, time management. Exactly. So exactly. I love that you have your 12 week plan written out because my father was actually very critical with that. He Man, was like, you, you know, you got to put it on paper. You got to put it on paper. And it was just like, at first I used to feel like it was an inconvenience. I'd be like, oh, I don't want to do all of this. Let me tell you why. Why? Because once you put it on paper, you take it from an idea to, 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 to now it's a commitment to yourself. Exactly. And when you don't accomplish that thing that you written down, that it, it, it because at that point in time, it's still a mental thing, right? Exactly. But once you tell somebody else, that that's why a lot of people are scared to share their ideas mm-hmm. because they have to be committed to act on that. Exactly. Now, now, now you're accountable. And now you're accountable. And as a dreamer, it's yeah. like I'm always having so many different ideas going on in my mind. Yeah. So it's like me being able to write it down. It's like, you know, it's kind of helps with me being so clattered mind. Yeah. And it then I can, it helps me focus. <laughs> and then I can actually like, you know, complete. <laughs> complete exactly. My goal. exactly. Like, oh, like, oh, oh, OK, these these are priority one. These yes. are priority two. And these yeah, I, I can get these. Yeah, get these. exactly. You know, that's yeah. exactly what it is. Exactly. And, that's exactly what it is. And that's that's so funny that you say that because I literally just had that conversation with my uncle the other day. <laughs> because he had I'll tell you what this called confirmation. It is confirmation. It's from the it is. That's that magic. God thing. be doing that though. That's that magic right there. God be doing this. I love it. Works in mysterious ways. I love it mm-hmm. so much. So uh this is our time for you to promote anything you want to promote. Okay, so first and foremost, Mm -hmm. I want to promote my baby, my business, my brand, Rose Therapy. Um, We are a retail florist. Um, We do promote mental health. So I have been researching the benefits of flowers since I've launched my business. And, you know, studies show that flowers release happy brain chemicals, dopamine, serotonin, um, all of those things that are meant to make you feel good, to make you um, you know, project the happiness onto others and, and like just out into the world. So flowers have have proven over and over to improve your mood, your anxiety, depression. So if you are interested in, you know, buying some flower therapy, you can follow me on Instagram at Rose Therapy X. And I'm also on Facebook, Rose Therapy by Esther. Again, that is spell it out for Rose Therapy by Esther. R-O-S-E. T-H-E-R-A-P-Y-X. 
mm. by Esther. It's E S T H E R. And, and we'll always put it in the description below. So yes. If you're watching you. this on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, check the look down below. All the information will be down there. Try to have it in a hyperlink. If you listen to it on Spotify, Amazon, or whatever streaming platform you're listening, look look in the description below. Look in the you. description, y'all. Check yeah. me out. And check I also want to promote um, the Minority Psychology Network. Hey. Um, my best friend did found a, she founded a organization that is focused on the mental, mental health of minorities. What's her at, though? Her at is at Successful Brim, and the at on Instagram is at the Minority Psychology Network, also known as MPN, y'all. If you ever need some resources, if you're looking for a, um, a minority mental health professional, we have that. We have interactive workshops. We have open panel discussions where you can talk about your mental health, what you're going through. It's a safe space, y'all. Very You'll safe. be surprised if you ever bring up the conversation of mental health, how many people can relate. So you are not by yourself, you are not alone, and you have resources out there. So if you need to, please follow our um, our social media handles. And I hope that we can be of service to, you know, make you the best version of yourself. But you know what, though? You have to actually let someone in. Mm. We er, Everyone is experiencing something. Yes. Right? And you have a community around you, mm -hmm. a friends who want to be there for you. Yes. You have, if you don't want, if you don't feel comfortable, okay, there are safe spaces mm -hmm. to go to where you can get this off your chest. Exactly. There's no need in this in 2022. We don't been through too much mm -hmm. for for everybody to keep this shit bottled in. Exactly. Like it, it, it's it, it's a lot. It's it's a lot. It's a lot. And 2022, not just 2020 to 2022, it has forced us to face oh. all of our trauma head Man. on. You know, a lot of us were stuck in the house with, you know, ourselves and other people. And, you know, you can't be your best self to other people if you're not that for yourself. So I love that a lot of people have started to, you know, pursue therapy mm -hmm. and, you know, have decided to actually, you know, focus in on what things that happened in their childhood or what things that even happened recently that are affecting them. Because you need to accomplish, you need to get over those hurdles. Exactly. If that's holding you back from your dream, if exactly. that's holding you back from happy, if that's making you bitter or if that's keeping you up, up at night, mm. if that thought is haunting you in the back of your you mind, gotta address there, it. there's no need to live with that. There's no need to live with that. There's, there's discreet ways to address these things. Exactly. You know, you, know, you ain't got to put it out there on Facebook. Facebook, you, you ain't got to do it for the ground. You do don't. it for yourself. Do it for yourself. Make and a commitment to yourself to be happy. Exactly. Right. And I'm a praying woman. I come from a praying family and I, I am a huge advocate of praying, you know, talking to God, but I'm also a very huge advocate of going to seek a mental health professional Man. because what it says faith without work is what? Dead. But you know what though? God empowered all these people. For God empowered all these people to help us. So yeah. it's like God didn't give them the gift to, you know, to help us and cater to our needs if it wasn't something that was necessary. God said, we're all the village. He we're said, all I'm, a, I'm, a, village. I'm a instill this knowledge in this person to yes. help you out here, right? Because I physically can't come down. Exactly. And there's strength in numbers. There's strength in numbers. And when he said, we're, we're two or three guys in, in the midst, I'm, I'm in the midst. So Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know the word. Y'all know, know they say that. You know, what I'm <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm crying. You talking about me, darling. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. Key, darling. That's what. <laughs> so there. There go God answering your prayer. But don't be, don't make God work hard. Yeah. Yes, don't be going to God, having him work so hard when you ain't down here doing no work. God, you got to meet this. him Okay, I'm going to send you way. somebody. No, I don't want him. Okay, God, I need you to send me a dentist. Me. I'm going to send you a dentist. <laughs> mm, no, no, I don't like them. They practice dirty. You know, like, <laughs> wow, right, we are very, that is so good. Because <laughs> that's so real. We we make God work hard. And, 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 so and, then, and then we always talk about I prayed about it. I, God be like, boy, I sent you. Yeah. It's not exactly how you pray. That's exactly when if it ain't exactly what it what you think it's supposed to but look that's like. That's because you we, pass think, it up. we we think it's Amazon Prime. It, 
get here right now how I want it. That's exactly, exactly how I want it. it. If it's not how I want it, I, I'm gonna pass it up. And then when God, and then when you when you prematurely reach for something that you're not ready for, it end up to where at the end you have to take five steps backwards in order to take ten steps forward. So That's what they say. Be careful with your ass. Be careful you just what might you ask for, and make sure you prepare for what you're asking for, y'all. That's key because if you ain't doing the work to be able to accept mm. what God is bringing into your life. It ain't gonna do you no good. So look, I told another friend about this. So for all the, the other people who not really God fearing people, what she's saying is, in order for you to manifest anything, you have to prepare yourself for this manifestation. Exactly. Right. If you're gonna manifest a new car, if you're gonna manifest this Mercedes or what? Mm-hmm. Can you pay the insurance? Can you pay the insurance? Where can you, you do? The, can you do the car maintenance? Because can, can the, you, car, you, but, the maintenance is important, especially on the bins. Exactly. You got and that goes for everything. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Where, where, where you gonna park? Where you gonna park it? Do you, do you, you have a place to park? It? Exactly. It, you you have to prioritize. Your yourself before you try to manifest these big dreams right okay, and, but, but it's okay it's okay i'm not saying don't dream big just prioritize the things that are important first and then those big dreams are automatic exactly and you know what you said a word because you said you know you asking for a beans but can you maintain it you maintain and that it? don't even just go for a beans that go for everything, everything that you ask for are you going to be able to maintain it are you were you willing them to do what you got to do that to get is, what you asked for whoo that is such a word that, that is, is such a word because you know even with when you ask for a husband when they come into your life, you're going to have to be able to have, make a conscious decision every day to maintain this relationship, this union that you've asked God for. When you ask for a new business, you got to ask God to give you the mindset, give you the structure, give you the motivation to be able to maintain the business. The that consistency you asked for. of what a good the business comes with. Because we, we know it's some late hours. It's some early morning. Yes. So it's some sleep it's deprivation. A, it's some sleep. It's, <laughs> it's mental. Oh, y'all, man. it's mental. It's physical. And it's spiritual it is is all of that so that is another reason why it is important for you to do the work before you decide that you asking god for all the desires of your heart because you got to make sure you're ready to receive it because it ain't gonna look like what you think it's gonna look like y'all see the the, beginning beginning, it it can right but you gotta go through that mud you gotta go i I like to call it growing pain every every solid building has a solid it started out with a foundation then they built upon that foundation. And then once that structure was built, then people start then dwelling. Then people start dwelling. Then we start dwelling. But we got to get that so structure real. built for them. But that first structure, it started out as a it's, field. It is. Nothing. In the beginning, the earth was And take your time on that forward. foundation, too, because the stronger the foundation, the stronger your house can be. God damn it, it took God seven days. You, you think you think you're going to do it tomorrow? <laughs> and that's God. We talk about God. <laughs> And you think you're finna do it tomorrow. Ooh, that is on, so man. real. That is so real. It takes time. But it, you know what? Stay consistent. Stay consistent. And stay it's worth consistent. it in the end. It's yeah. worth it in the end. It's rather, I'd rather you put your time into your passion, your purpose, and your dreams than to put your time into somebody else's passion, purpose, and dream if that's mm. not what you want. I'm mm. not saying entrepreneurship is for everybody. I know a lot of people who don't want that route. You know, they and, rather. And that's perfectly fine. And that's perfectly right? fine. But if know? this is your path but that, that you're seeking, path, you, you have to, to understand what it comes you, with. Prepare yourself for what it comes with. Prepare yourself for that what is, it comes with. That is a word. That is a word. Prepare yourself to be for what it comes with. Prepare yourself to be able to nurture it and prepare yourself to be able to maintain it. So on that note, my next question is, if someone was wanted to, if DJ and his friends were sitting down and they asked you to come to, to their school to speak and they said, hey, uh, how do we know that we're on the right path in, in, in life? Like what words of encouragement would you give to the, to the youth, the young generation, my kids, your kids, anybody kids who's looking to make it? And that's coming from your life experiences. And that's because we, we, we all had kids around a particular time. Mm-hmm. We all, you know, for all y'all who don't know me, who went to school together. Me and her child's father been knowing each other well before me and her knew each other like, <laughs> like kids, kids. Like, like we we was in a whole other city, kids, kids. That's funny. Like, and a lot of people don't even know who he is. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. so, if I was asked that question, 
I would rebuttal with, are you happy? Are you genuinely happy? Do you wake up every day excited for the day? You know, what? one thing that I love about my son is um, he's very, he's very personable. He has a lot of friends and, you know, I love his personality. Like he's hilarious. He, he, he always strives to, you know, make people laugh and, you know, make people feel good. And to me, that's projecting happiness. That's mm -hmm. projecting that, you know, he's an actual a happy young man. He's 13. He'll be 14 in September. Hey. <laughs> so my baby is getting older in four Man. years. He's going to be 18. And I'm just like, you know, me looking at him and just me just seeing just the, the happiness that he projects and just hearing him speak. Like the other day, I was like, um, he wanted to go to the skating ring. And I was like, you know, who's all going to be there and blah, 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 because it's Redbird Skating Ring. And I don't know if y'all know nothing about Redbird Skating Ring, but I used to go there <laughs> and I remember <laughs> how it used to be. So, you know, I'm talking to him about girls, you know, we talking about sex and condoms and all type of stuff. And I'm like, you know, don't be touching. 13 no is the age. 13 is the age. <laughs> I'm like, you know, don't age. be touching no girls who hide. Don't be letting these girls touch your penis like none of that. And his response was, was like, mom, that's not even my intentions. <laughs> and I love that because I was just like, OK, first off, you know what being intentional is. Yeah. And, you know, important. exactly. Very and, important. You know, second off, it's just like. I love that he's just enjoying his childhood right now. I know that that time is coming, but at this point, it's like his main focus is, you know, hanging with his friends from the game. And, you know, yeah, he like girls, but he's not, you know, on, on the sexual level yet. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like. Mm -hmm. And that's because, you know, these little girls, um, some some of the parents don't necessarily have the, the structure. Mm -hmm. As you say, that they, they don't have structure in place to, to let them know what is and what's not okay. Exactly. And you know, um, we just got got to be there, not not as parents, as fathers, as mothers, as caregivers, mm -hmm. as a community, right? We have to let this know. We have to let our community know that it's okay for children to be children in their particular space, yep. in their particular age range. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like now it's become more common and common to where, you know, children and parents are becoming more so friends mm. and we cool to a certain extent. Right. But, but you have to have that you have boundary. To have you have to have that boundary. And that solid balance. Boundaries. Solid boundaries, solid respect, yes. balance. Yes. And, that, and that's because it's okay to, it's okay for kids to come to us and have the conversation with us. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know, we're not finna go to the club together. Exactly. Un until you're of age. Until as soon as you're of age, age. we're finna go. And that, go. and that comes from, I agree with that because yeah. I actually have a very close relationship with my mother. Like we're like best friends. And before my pop, my father passed, we were best friends. And we used to go to clubs and exactly. all type of stuff together. But when I was a kid, we you didn't- was a kid. That was your age. No, range, no, right? no. It was literally a complete script flip when I got of age. Of age. Yeah. It was just like, wow, like, okay, like this is nice. Like and I that, and that's because his job was done. His job was done. <laughs> his and job I was to love, raise I love that I got to have a parent as a as a child. Yeah. And then now that I'm older, I get to have a, both. Is a parent and a friend. A parent and a friend. A and it's just and so beautiful because. I feel like, you know, a lot of who I am today is because of how I was raised. And it was a village. You know, my mom and my father, they worked a lot. And my grandparents, they stepped in a lot. But they were all, you know, they all were focused on, you know, the greater good of us as a whole. Yeah. And I lack I nothing. I lack nothing. So I am so blessed. And, you know, I'm just. Uh. A blessing. <laughs> a blessing. All that right here. Her past is what led to this moment right here. This mm -hmm. beautiful young lady right here. That's so true. therefore, we, our path, whatever we're doing now, is going to cultivate the way for our children. Exactly. So do you want your children to have these type of moments? Mm. Or 
our hardship. Want, or do you want your kid to have some other type, type of moment? And you know what? I actually had to go visit a family member in jail this past weekend. I'm very close with this family member. And um, when I was waiting in line, I was um, behind a, a woman, an older lady. Mm -hmm. And she actually, she was like, I'm here to visit my son, gave the birthday. And she was like, while I'm here, I also want to visit my daughter. Mm. So she has her son and her daughter both in jail and both of their years were like 91. So they're young. And I was just, and I was looking at her and I just wanted to hug her because, you know, she, um, I think she had missed like her dentures. She was saying that she was trying to save some money to get some dentures because she was missing her teeth. And, you know, it's hard because a lot of parents, they struggle so much it's like they they're struggling to keep their selves together they don't know how to pour into other people especially their children so it's that's why it's so important to you know go to therapy get help like if you have some some trauma that you need help with and you want the best for your children then you need to work on self first that Definitely. way you can pour from a full cup it's it's hard to pour into other people if your if your cup only got this much in it but you, you want, but you know what though you you have to be able to pour. Mm -hmm. You have to be <laughs> you able to pour, and you want to pour, pour from the overflow, right? You it, don't want to take from yourself. You want to take from yourself, others. exactly. That's being able to pour because mm -hmm. it, it, first off, you know, for someone to even come to you for that type of support. Right. Obviously, they see something in, in you, a, a, a helpful word, a helpful yes. eye. They admire you, right? Mm -hmm. So, therefore, when you see these people that 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 that, that are going through it, as you say, everybody don't know how everybody to don't know how. to say nothing. They don't know how to. They don't say, know what it looks like. Help. They don't know. They don't. They, know. they don't know what right looks they like. They don't know what it looks like. Yeah. So, so th therefore, get yourself together. Get yourself and then together. Not only can you identify the wrongs and those others around you and be a say hey it's okay mm -hmm. I, I see what you're going through it's, and that is it's, so true it's, it's okay and that's so true yeah. because even now i i have such i have so much on my plate and i have to take a moment and be like okay i need help because yeah. even when i was struggling with my with my mental health it's like i was I didn't know that it was such a common thing. I didn't mm -hmm. know that a lot of people, you know, were struggling mentally. I didn't know that so many people around me or a lot of my peers were struggling with depression. So I kept it to myself. But when I got to the point where, first off, I was, I'm a part of uh, the Minority Psychology Network. I'm a chair in that organization. So of course that we're breaking the stigma. So the mm -hmm. conversation has had more, but it still was like me opening up to my family or my friends. It was more of a personal thing. It needs to happen more. And exactly. It and to it more. took it took a lot. It took years for me to be like, hey, y'all, I'm depressed. Like I'm drowning. I'm in this dark place right now. And I don't know how to get myself out this time. And I need you guys. Y'all hear that? She said, I need you guys. I need you guys. And it took me like just taking that guard down because, you know, my why is my son. And, you know, I look at my son and I'll be, and I remember he was, uh, I was in the kitchen or something and I had been in my room for like a week and I would just come out and, you know, just like, you know, go in his room, like mess with him a little bit, just as some, you know, just to let so him you know, I'm still here. Yeah, I'm still yeah. here. And then he was like, are you okay, mom? Like, are you stressed? And I was like, you know what? Like the fact that my son can see feel, that. can feel see that it energy. and feel it. Yeah. It was like, okay, you know what? I can't be like this because I also want to know, I also want to teach my son, like if you get to a point where you're in a dark spot, that you can lean on the people that God has placed into your life. Exactly. And, you know, that was the, literally the best decision I ever made, to be honest. So. See. But it, again, it takes, it, it, first off, what you said is very important. My son is my why. Mm. Your North Star, the reason why you do anything, you have to have a why. Yep. Because your why is the thing that will not only drive you, but will get you committed. Get you committed. But then, you know, a lot of people don't have a why. Mm -mm. And that and that's, that's the, the problem. Thing. That, that's the problem because a lot of people don't have a why. They don't have a reason because they feel like I lost a family member. Mm -hmm. So now my, my why is yeah, gone. My, my, my why is gone. I'd be like, but there's so much life out there. Right. And you also have to be careful when your why is outside of you. Ooh. 
if your why mm-hmm. is outside of you, once that person is no longer here, it's going to be difficult mm-hmm. for you to, you know, find that motivation or that inspiration to keep going. I guarantee that's not what God has for exactly. you. Exactly. Right. And that's another thing. It's like, uh, although my son is my why, my why also is instilled in me as well, because yeah. I know one day my son is going to go off and he's going to live his own life. Yeah, your why is a driver. Your now. Why, it's not your existence. Ex- your <laughs> why driver. should be your driver, not yeah. your existence. Your driver. That's that's a word. Existed. That's a word right That's there. Me. That's you. Ooh, shoot, shoot. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what though? I'm I'm gonna take that as as a good sign from God to go ahead on and wrap things up. Is there one more thing you want to uh put into the into the cosmos, into the world? One, you know, last little token. Um, I just want to, I just hope that we inspired you guys. I just hope that you know that you're never alone. Like anything that you have going on in your life, I guarantee you there is a multitude of people going through the same motions that you are. And I just want to encourage you to, you know, speak up, ask for help. If you, if you're drowning and you need help and you feel like you just in some quicksand and you just need somebody to reach out and grab your hand, There's your so first resources. step is you got to reach your hand up and ask for help There's because, so you know, at the end of the day, with all of us being, you know, in our own lives and adults and we have so much stuff going on, it's hard for us to recognize when people are struggling if it's not brought to us. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, you know, my thing was, I used to be like, you know, my mom should know that, you know, I'm not like myself. Or everybody should know. Everybody right? should, should know that yeah. Dominic has been acting yeah. different. But at the end of the day, people are busy. They have their own they, lives. They're going through, their, going through, their, <laughs> they're own going through their own stuff. And yeah. a lot of people are struggling themselves, not just on a mental level, but physically, physically spiritually. Yeah, yeah. And so I just want to encourage you to, you know, kind of just be intentional be intentional if you feel like you are struggling or you're dwelling in a certain um period for too long because you know I think sometimes we confuse sadness for depression and sometimes we confuse depression for sadness but more often it's the other way around so but are you happy are you happy that what needs to be the goal my key point my ending point is you have to look for happiness within yourself don't look for your happiness within your significant other Mm -hmm. don't look for happiness within your job don't look for happiness within your any any your dog what to look for happiness here's my advice Mm -hmm. you got to be in your heart if money was not an object okay now, this is going to take some time for some people to actually think about. If money was an object, right, where you can travel to all the places, you done traveled across the globe, literally, you've touched every spot. You've got all the designer, you've got something from every designer. You, I'm talking, you you, you can call up Gucci, Hermes, personally, and, and get a garment, you. right? You you got all that. Like, you, you plugged in. Like, things is... Things is like... If if money wasn't an issue, what would you do then? Whatever that is, try to do that now. That's where your happiness is because all the money in the world ain't going to make you happy. It's only going to make your participation in this time frame happy. But you're going to get money to buy something, to do something so you can feel happy. But, you, but you're going to think that your happiness is found within those material things. But once you gather those material things, you're going to realize that I'm not really happy. Right. I got a big house. I got a car. I got a Mercedes. I got this. But now what? You're not building relationships. You're not nurturing. You're not nurturing. You're not pointing to your community. You're not pointing to yourself. You're not, you're not playing music. You're mm-hmm. not laughing. You're not dancing. Wow. That you're is not having so a real. drink. You're not mm-hmm. smiling. Like, what makes you smile? And you have to spend time with yourself, like you said. You have to. Doing all that, like dancing, making you a cocktail, lighting a candle, listening to some. That's my favorite thing. Like, I Mm. put on a little cute outfit. I light me a candle. I make me a drink. And I just dance around the backyard, (laughs) just fill it up myself. Like, oh, yes. I I tell my lady friends that all the time. Go go in the closet, put on your best shit. Yeah. Your best shit. And just stand in the mirror, goddammit. 
just look at you and be like, oh, look at all this. Exactly. You literally have to hype yourself up, pour into yourself. Because once you pour into yourself, it projects onto others. Mm. Like, I love when people compliment compliment me. I love when people tell me they love my energy, my personality. But I love when I tell it to myself more. Yeah, and that's because it's true. Exactly. I'm like, oh, Diamond, you you look good. Like, I'm proud of you, girl. When you living in your truth, you living in your truth. And when you when you fucking in it when you when are you in when you it, can't nobody what you tell are. you nothing. It's like it's like whatever anybody else tells you about you is just icing on the cake. Mm-hmm. But I'm the cake, so mm-hmm. it's like I don't already okay. told myself I'm everything ca- I need I'm to hear. Oh. <laughs> so it's like yo icing, I appreciate Ooh. it, but the cake is still good without mm. it, with or without, <laughs> with or without. Because you know what, at the older you get, a lot of people don't like icing. Exactly. I don't like too much ice. <laughs> oh, that's, that's too sweet. <laughs> oh, that shook. I can't see how y'all. Oh, that shook. <laughs> I'll be like, y'all old motherfucker, man. Y'all oh, that's old. me. I'll be adding water to my tea. I'm oh, like, oh, that's sweet. sweet. I'm mm. like, okay. I'm like, all right. I see why people used to be like Kool Aid too sweet. Mm. Like, yeah. Shout out to Kool Aid. I still, Dime. I still like me some food. Yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> still you like without the measure. One, two. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, see, a little bit. Of, then you add a little bit more. <laughs> is it swirling? I like to have that swirl. And is it yes. swirling to the Put it down to make sure it's funneling down. <laughs> All right, y'all. My, my dog is standing outside. Oh, so on that note, we're gonna go home and wrap it up. Again, Miss Diamond, we thank you thank for blessing you for the podcast. Me. Ooh, excuse me. I'm gonna swallow and spit. I got excited. Oh, <laughs> don't choke, oh, friend. It's you, right? Eh? <laughs> it's having this energy, right? You ain't having this kind of mind, man. You know, you know what? Don't <laughs> no, but uh, again, we appreciate you for coming through the podcast. We appreciate you for, for coming through the show. Y'all don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow her on all of her Instagram handles. Uh, Instagram, whatever she wants to put down, it'll be down in the description uh, below. Uh, again, share this with your friends. If you got some out of it, if you even got a little word, just just comment it down below, and we're gonna, you know, like sh- shout you out. But most importantly, you gotta go out. You gotta raise your hand. Yeah, you gotta raise your hand if you need. We we all know you're going through something because mm-hmm. everybody's going through. Everybody's something, going through something. Something whether it's it trauma, don't care how stress, it money. You know, you're trying to maintain a lot of shit. It's fine. It's okay. Nobody, you're not alone. You're not alone. And if you are, I guarantee you, there's a lot of people who can advise you on the subtasks of your main task. Because every main task has some subtasks. Below it. Yes. And if you can't do the main task, we can outsource that out to somebody else in order to get the job accomplished. That's business one on one. If you don't know nothing about that, you need to know something about that, hit your boy up. Boy got them ideas, boy got them knowledge. Get your shit popping. You know what I'm yes. talking about? And on that note, we finna go on here about this bit. Y'all have a good night. If ain't nobody told you today, hey, I love you. Love okay? y'all. We love y'all. Bye. We just go ahead. We done.